Welcome to Do Wall Daily presented by GinJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thanks so much for tuning in here today. Friday, February 9th. Hall of Fame 2024 class was announced last night at NFL Honors. Fred Taylor did not get in. We're going to talk about it here today. Look, Fred Taylor, he absolutely deserves the Hall of Fame. We're going to talk about why. But I'm not going to disparage any of the people that did make it. Any of the great players and people that did make it. We're going to talk about the guys that made it. We're going to talk about why Fred Taylor deserves to be there. But this isn't about he deserved to be there over X player that got in. That's not what we're going to make this about. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also check out ginjag.com slash shop. Pick up some new Duval gear like the hat I'm wearing right now. So look, uh, like I said, not going to disparage any of these folks that made it. Um, Julius Peppers, absolute freak show, right? This is one of the most impressive defensive end pass rushers I've ever seen, right? Andre Johnson, awesome, awesome football player. I should not have to tell any Jaguars fans how good Andre Johnson was. He told you twice a year, right? Devin Hester is the greatest returner I have ever seen. Bar none. Incredible. Incredible what he could do on the football field. And Patrick Willis, while he retired a little earlier than I would have liked because I wanted to keep watching him play, he's one of the best linebackers I have ever seen. Bar none. Awesome football players that made it. McMichael and Gratishar deserving in their own right. Of course, I didn't watch them growing up, but uh, they were before my time. Good football players made it into the Hall of Fame. So, not here to say that any of those guys shouldn't be in the hall, that Fred Taylor deserved to be in uh, above them, that he, I'm going to compare the numbers and say, look, Fred, he had better career numbers than, than this guy. No, that's not what it's all about. We're going to talk about why Fred Taylor does deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, though. He dominated an era of football that was dominated by the running back position. He absolutely did. And by the numbers, he certainly does deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. 17th all-time in rushing yards, 4.6 yards per carry, 78 career touchdowns, including the playoffs. Speaking of the playoffs, I mean, one of the best playoff performers at the position in NFL history. Longest run in playoff history, yes, that belongs to Fred Taylor. Over 4.8 yards per carry in the playoffs and over 80 yards a game from scrimmage in the playoffs for Fred Taylor. And among the 16 runners, 16 running backs throughout NFL history that have more career rushing yards than him, you want to know who averaged more yards per carry? Barry Sanders and Jim Brown. That's it. That's the list. Barry Sanders and Jim Brown. Widely viewed as two of the top three greatest running backs all time. By many. I mean, I think most people would be saying Barry Sanders, Jim Brown, Walter Payton. That's the top three. Adrian Peterson averaged the same amount. You may have heard of Adrian Peterson. One of the most impressive backs I've ever seen. All of the guys ahead of Fred Taylor on the NFL's all-time rushing list are in the Hall of Fame except for Frank Gore, who is not eligible yet. And shout out to Frank Gore. Helping the Jaguars secure Trevor Lawrence. The Jaguars organization will forever be indebted to Frank Gore. Get that man a gold jacket solely for that reason, right? I jest. But yards, stats, Pro Bowls, all of that stuff, fine and dandy. He has all the numbers except the Pro Bowls. But I'm here to tell you it should not be, the mark of a Hall of Famer should not be counting stats, yards, Pro Bowls, all that stuff. That's not what it should be. Impact and greatness on the field. Legacy. To me, that's what matters to a Hall of Famer. That's what makes a Hall of Famer. The Jaguars, they had two separate eras of playoff football. Damn good playoff football. Damn good rushing attacks. And who was the catalyst for both of them? One of the catalysts, at the very least. Fred Taylor. That late 1990s team... He put them over the top offensively. And, you know, he only didn't win Rookie of the Year because there was a guy named Randy Moss in the same damn draft class. Fred Taylor had 17 rushing touchdowns his rookie year. He was the spark for that team to go from potential 
AFC contender to maybe the best team in the league, right? He was that spark. 98, 99, that Jaguars offense took a leap. A lot of it had to do with Fred Taylor's ability to bust off big long runs. And I would just beg you to watch him. Watch him play. Say he doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame. There has never been a more impressive blend of size, speed, power, agility, elusiveness, and style in a running back. And he brought so much style and swagger to the football field. The way he dressed on the field, right? He got the visor for a lot of the time in his young career. He, he had swag. He brought it, right? One of the best dressed players on the field. Combine that with the patience and vision he showed to attack the line of scrimmage and in the open field. He was really special. I mean, it just gives me chills thinking back about watching Fred Taylor as a kid. He really was special. And he still is. Big member, big part of the Jaguars organization today. And this guy, think about this. He was 230 pounds. He ran a 4-2-9 40-yard dash at the NFL Combine. That is blazing. I mean, there's guys that are 160 pounds. They're not running 4-2-9. He did it at 230 pounds. And it wasn't just testing. He did that on the field. He could run through you. I mean, this was a powerful running back. If you weren't ready as a linebacker, defensive end, especially cornerbacks and safeties, he would run right through your ass. I mean, shout out to Mike Doss, right? We all remember that. He could run past you. I mean, once he got past the second level, if you, if you didn't have a great angle, he was going to score a touchdown, right? Um, and even if you did have a great angle, he could probably destroy it because he could make you miss in the open field. His elusiveness in the open field, agility to make guys miss, to make guys look silly at 230 pounds, incredible. And then he'd look back at you as he raced past you into the end zone. He lets you know that he knows, right? And you've heard all these guys, great football players that he played against, Troy Polamalu, so many guys, talk about Fred Taylor's probably the best that they've ever faced. How about this? Jim Brown, who again, only Jim Brown and Barry Sanders among the, the players that have more career rushing yards. Average more yards per carry. Incredible. Jim Brown said this. You can't catch him. He's got all the natural moves. Those of us with a keen eye know Fred Taylor is the best running back I've seen in a long time. That's Jim Brown. I mean, that's the greatest thing. You know, RIP. Rest in peace, Jim Brown. Lost him last year. Fred Taylor, for me, he was poetry in motion on the football field. He deserves that gold jacket. And that's not meant to disparage anyone else in the hall. But what he meant to the Jaguars and still does, you know, as a, a catalyst for winning football, when he was a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Jaguars were a winning organization. They won more games than they lost by a wide margin. After he, after he left the Jaguars... It's been an organization that has struggled to win football games. And you're hoping, praying that they're on their way back with Trevor Lawrence, some of these other guys. But look, there's no doubt Fred Taylor was one of the catalysts of the greatest eras of Jaguars football. Uh, what he meant to the NFL during his time in the league, there was no one really more dominant than Fred. I mean, there was guys that put up numbers bigger than Fred, like LaDainian Tomlinson, yeah. Sean Alexander had crazy numbers too. But the impact he made on the field and the way he did it, the style, the grace, the power, I don't think that there is another running back in history that was more impressive on the football field from a talent standpoint. I know he will get in. I strongly believe that. It should have been this year, but he will get in. Fred Taylor is deserving of the Hall of Fame, and he will get into the Hall of Fame hopefully sooner rather than later. Really appreciate y'all tuning in. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Y'all have a good one.